So you are trying to complete an exemplars task from home. Are you trying to figure out how to get started? With a few steps, we will walk you through how to read these tasks so you understand the problem you need to solve. Plus, we will talk about a few ways to help you get started. So, let's get started. The first thing we need is an exemplars task you are going to work on. For this example, we will use the task going to the movie. The second thing we will need is the exemplars problem solving procedure. This will help us walk through all the steps we need to solve the problem. Now it's time to understand the problem. To do this, let's start by reading the task three times. For the first read, just try reading for understanding. What is the task about? What seems to be going on? Take your time. For the second read, Determine what numbers are in the task. What do you think you need to do with these numbers? Is there any information missing? What information do you have that will be important for solving this problem? For the third read, decide what question the task is asking you to solve. What problem do you need to provide an answer for? At the top of your paper, I want you to write down what you think the problem is you are trying to solve in your own words. Write your I have to sentence to guide your thinking. Okay, so you have read the task three times. Now let's solve it. First, you need to think of a plan you might use to solve the problem. You do not have to be perfect right away. A good way to start is with a sketch to practice your ideas on paper. You do not have to be super organized. Just get your thoughts down on paper. Here are some things you might think about as you try to start solving the problem. What tools can help me get started? Do I want to draw a picture or a diagram? How about solving it with simpler numbers? Can you make an orderly list? Do you want to put your information in a table? Can you look for patterns? Can you get it from the table and act out the story? Can you use some toys to make a model of the problem? Do you already know the answer? Can you work backwards to help show your thinking? Are there problems you have solved in the past that can be helpful in solving this problem? Another way to begin is to think about resources you remember from the past that might be helpful. Do you want to use a number line? Maybe a table. How about a hundreds chart? Do you have things at home that can help you? The Math Learning Center has great online resources for you to use to think about this problem. You can also phone a friend or use Google Meet to actually see your friends online and work together. It is free to anyone. What are their ideas for solving the problem? When you think you have a good plan, you can write your plan using your I will statement. Now let's put your plan on paper. Work to solve the problem and show all of your thinking. Take your time. These can take a little while to complete. The goal of these tasks is to really think about how you can use math to solve problems in the real world. These tasks have a couple of steps you need to complete to reach a final answer. But so do most problems in life. So you're ready to get started. Take your time, have fun, work with a friend, and enjoy. All the best. And if you have any questions, reach out to Exemplars. We're here to help.